Y'all put your hands together for Gator. Gator, coming to the right right now. Kind of monotone. Can anybody hear me? Yeah, yeah. Already, that's what's up. Uh, my poetry is a little more simplified, I guess. Call it, you know what I'm saying? But, um, right now, I've been going through some things, so I'm working out some anger. So y'all bear with me. First piece I want to do is um, it's called Requesting a Facial. So uh, it says, maybe I can say right now I'm as hard as a physics finder. I'm ready to spit like I'm ready to spit the vinyl, but I don't want it to hit your spine because this is some LSD shit. But truth be told, baby, it's about my daughter's life and not no thug shit because I be throwing balls in the park, not popping bottles in the club, bitch. That's some stupid shit. Most of these niggas is clowns and fools, and I be pointing at most of these hoes turning to my daughter and say, baby, stay in school because she bought that cash and she wearing them pants, but if she can tell you how much it costs, baby, that's some cheap ass. You understand? And she just shake her head. So this daddy ain't scared for his daughter to turn 13. But for my homeboys, baby, my heart is truly hurting. Because she just got it last year and her period already stopped working. But one thing's for certain, it's too late to tell her now. That fucking with a nigga that seemed like somebody don't make you nobody. So some bitches end up offended when they realize they were only part of a picture and not necessarily in it. So while daddy was at the party, he wasn't there when it finished. And now she want to open her mouth and tell everybody their business that he got a bust in it. When truth be told, she should have just did that in the beginning. So the only way to make sure our tale of two lovers is not ended is for you to finish how you started. Thank you. <laughs> this next one is called Somehow It's Always My Fault. You know what I'm saying? It's about my ex-wife. <laughs> giving you this, man. Damn it, Damn it. So I was higher than I was when we left, and now I'm back by myself with a smell on my friend, and even worse on my shirt. But trying not to be a jerk, I offer salutations as I make my way through the Haitians. Me, I'm higher than these drugs supposed to get one, nigga, and I figured a little liquor would balance me out quicker, so in my cup you find crown and coat. Me, you find in the corner, hiding I'm supposed to be, hoping nobody noticed me, but here it is, her auntie's approaching me, and while I'm not paying attention to her opinion, she's giving it to me for free. For me, I don't mind. I smile, nod, occasional mm hmm throw in a couple, I know what you mean. But it seems this particular mm hmm had been posed to a question, and the blank stare on my face left no second guessing that I'm paying her no attention. And I guess it would be fair to mention that I forgot a blunt behind my ear, but she's making apparently clear that she attempts to grab me. So I hand I slap it. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what? Oh, I don't give a fuck. I'm grown. Look, I know y'all don't like me and what I do, so leave me alone. That's why I'm standing over here. A part of the conversation, which apparently caught her uncle's ear, because he introduces himself to the conversation, which now involves me and two Haitians I really don't care for. But for my wife, I play nice. You know what? I'm sorry, as I place it in my pocket. For me, a sign for him to take this conversation and stop it. But nevertheless, he persists. And with every word that crosses his lips, Chris is getting more pissed. So I interject with a piece of prose that he fails to disclose. Look, each and every one of you motherfuckers walk through these doors, isn't this my damn house? So if you don't like me and what I do, you can get the fuck out. Like this blunt in my pocket that's about to get lit. Before my wife put her hand on me and say, Chris, you know what, baby? You right. I'm sorry. I'm going to go outside. To me, another sign for him to just relax and let the shit be. But I see teeth, and now they separating, and now tongues is creating tones, and Creole is now being spoken in my house, and I don't understand, so what's the back of my hand? Your mama, motherfucker, because I don't understand what you're saying. And you're working my nerves because you think that I'm playing. But just as they getting me started, I notice my daughter looking at me like, Daddy, why you ruining the party? But somehow, it's always my fault. Talk to me, man. It's your boy, your mother, you turn them off.